Hey guys, me again. Now, if you saw my last video, you would know that it's now possible to import hardware more flexes into Blender, meaning you can control a source model's face in Blender the same way you could in SFM. Now, source IO can't do this, Blender source tools can't do this, but I made a script that lets you do it, and it's very easy to use. Compared to my last tutorial, there's only two more steps. This is what the last version looked like, the old one, the outdated garbage. And this is what the new looks like. Look, just look how smooth that is. Ignore the wrinkles, that is all my fault. But look, look how smooth. Like, look at that. That's only an SFM, but it's, it's in Blender, what? All right, now let's get to it. First of all, what you need is Blender 2.93, because this does not work in 3.0. Okay, so in the last video, you know what to do. Get Blender source tools, decompile your model with crowbar, but there's two new scripts, which are completely different. It's on the GitHub. Just go to there, find... It's called VTA Separator Smooth and QC Flex Data Smooth. First of all, just go to that VTA Separator and copy the code inside of it, and just paste it here, and then find whatever model you want to do. We're gonna do the heavy. Now just find your model's VTA file and put it here. Got the directory heavy01.vta and just run it. Once that's done, just go to your QC file directory, import the QC, and just delete the X, uh, oh. Yeah, just delete the excess. Here's what the two new steps are. You're gonna wanna make two new vertex groups, blend left and blend right. We're gonna turn wireframe on for this part, just to make it easier. I'm gonna go to weight paint and then select the gradient and drag it from the left side for blend left, and then just drag it to the opposite side. Do the same for blend right. Turn that on. And now get the copy the QC flex data importer. The smooth version, mind you. And then just put the QC file directory, which is in the same one as your VTA, heavy.qc, and then just run it. Okay. And now watch this magic. All right, we're gonna go to custom properties, which is where the slides are. And now look. Look how smooth that is! You're done! You have SFM control in Blender, and it's that easy. We're just gonna pose him real quick. We're gonna make him smile. Lips. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah. Look how happy he is. Look how happy. He is so... Happy. That's all what that's all you have to do. You have SFM c control in Blender. I can confirm that this has near support for almost every source model. If you like the tutorial, I'm very glad I can help you. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord server or ask them anywhere else. I just promise I will be way more responsive if you ask them in the Discord server. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.